Hi folks and welcome back to home hypothermia or detox and immune boosting treatments at home. Now one of the most important parts is temperature control and one of the things that we've not filmed during that whole session is how you get that probe, this thing, up your butt. <laughs> it's something that well you can show with children but with adults they just don't like to be filmed with that. So this is actually a device that you would use to control your temperature and those of you who have an iPhone will actually love that because it's a $40 device, it comes with a long cable, you can actually use that in the sauna and all you do you can see here the curve. I hope you can. There is a little device here that films, yes. So you can actually see the curve when you take it out. It goes to room temperature, something like 26 degrees. Now if we put that into hot water, then you can see the curve going straight up. You see it's very fast, extremely reactive and it's up to 35, 36.4 degrees, 36.6. Now we use this device actually in comparison with a $5,000 device that was coming or that was established in the clinic. And we had both probes, exactly the same things, in the butt of the patient and we checked out the temperature parallel to those expensive devices and it turned out to be on the dot. 36.6 was when we started. The whole way through up to 40 it was accurate on the dot. Another great advantage of this whole thing is that I can set an alarm. And this is something that is really important for everybody. 38.5 was our turn off alarm. Turn off the whole heaters, turn off the whole thing and watch out if the temperature is still going up because once the body develops its own fever reaction it can still go up almost a whole degree. So when we turned off at 38 it sometimes went up to 38.5 and that's what you want. You don't want to go a lot higher. So with that buzzer it actually alarmed and we went and turned off everything and then we reset the buzzer and then we just checked out how the temperature goes and then you go back to the graph and because the sauna holds the temperature extremely well you just have everything on zero, you observe your temperature but you stay in there for at least an hour, hour and a half if you can two hours and that is really fantastic. It's like really having a serious cold with a high fever and you keep that for as long as you can. And that's where the beneficial effect comes of creating more immune cells and boosting those which are there with an extreme blood flow and oxygenation. So it's like an energy that you fill into the body. You can also use those ear temperature controls. They're not as accurate. You need to be really careful. Rather stay on the low side so that you don't overgo or do the one in the mouth. You know the, the normal fever thermo uh, thermometer. But again, keep that under the tongue. Be very careful. Test it out a few times so that you know that you don't reach anything above the 38.5 for your home training and that's more than sufficient. You don't need to go up into the high temperatures. It's actually a training for immune system to start, to kick start and to react and to work properly and that's all that is required.